আসসালামু আলাইকুম ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস আই হোপ ইউ আর অল ওয়েল অ্যান্ড স্টেইং অ্যাট হোম উইথ ইউর ফ্যামিলি মেম্বার্স বিকজ অ্যাট দিস মোমেন্ট উই আর পাসিং এ ক্রিটিক্যাল মোমেন্ট ফর করোনা ভাইরাস আই থিঙ্ক ইউ মে স্টে সাম মোর ডেজ অ্যাট হোম বাট you should not pass the days idly you know after opening your school you have to attend various exams as a teacher i advise you that it is the high time to prepare yourself staying at home and taking help from online provided by our school life preparatory school uttara dhaka today i will discuss on integrative sentence integrative voice i think already you have been introduced this term boys and he have also learned the basic rules of voice changing how to change the active sentence into passive for this reason i will not discuss more on rules just i will discuss and solve some examples to help you dear students listen to me and follow the board as this class on voice change integrative so first of all you must know the basic structure of integrative sentence what is integrative sentence integrative sentence two kinds use no question and w is question both questions must auxiliary verb before the subject this is the basic structure of integrative sentence just i have written the sentence do you like tea this is a integrative sentence yes no question and this is w's question how did he solve the sum if i cut how did he solve the sum this is also integrative sentence but here how is used as a wh actually i will not discuss more on wh next class i will discuss in details on wh question how to change active to passive today i will discuss details on yes no part first example do you like tea this is a present indefinite tense and for this tense the auxiliary verbs are am is are what is the first work the first work you have to identify the tense and the auxiliary verb this is present indefinite tense and for this tense the auxiliary verbs are am is are and here the object is t for t you have to use the auxiliary verb what is because you know for third person singular number you have to use the auxiliary verb is for this reason we have to use here is then you have to use the object you have to use the object here is a structure 
for your support t then you have to convert the principal verb past participle light this third part the fourth you have to use preposition in generally by already i have used here by and last of all you have to change the subject into object the second question as like as first of all here is a w squares you have to use w is then as usual you have to use the auxiliary verb according to tense as this is a past indefinite tense you have to use was and were as the object is singular you have to use the auxiliary verb singular so i have used here auxiliary verb was then you have to use the object the sum then you have to use the past participle of the principal verb sort then you have to use preposition by and last of all you have to change the subject into object as like as the other examples you have to change the same rules first what is our first work first work you have to select the or identify the tense and their auxiliary verb this is a present continuous tense and for present continuous tense auxiliary verbs are am is are but at the same time the last class or previous class you learned for continuous tense you have to add being just follow the student just follow the board here the object is cricket as this is a third person singular number you have to use according to tense observer is then object then object then for continuous tense being being then you have to use the verb past participle from play plate then you have to use the preposition by and the last one the subject you have to change into object the question number 4 will you help me the future indefinite tense and here object is me and auxiliary verb shall will for first person you may use auxiliary verb shall for this reason i have also used here shall me convert into subject i then according to future tense you have to use be auxiliary verb future indefinite tense then you have to change the past participle of the verb help next you have to use preposition by and last of all you have to change the subject into object next question question number 5 have you done the work this is present perfect tense as usually for present perfect tense as usually you have to use the auxiliary verb and extra you have to add been not only for present perfect tense for all the perfect tense present perfect past perfect or future perfect for all the perfect tense you have to add been after the helping verb okay follow the board have you done the work the object is Work third person singular number, so you have to use auxiliary verb has, then object the work, then you have to add extra been, then you have to form the past participle from the principal verb here as like as, then you have to use the preposition by, and last of all you have to convert the subject into object form. Next question. Six number. Did he teach me? This is past indefinite tense, and past. You know, for the past indefinite tense, the auxiliary verbs are was and 
wire. This friends, don't be panic. It's a very easy term. As this is your first class, so you think it is very hard. No, no. It is not so difficult. It's a very easy to change the sentence into active to passive. Follow the board. Did he teach me? Auxiliary verb was and where. Object me. If we convert the object into subject I, for I you have to use auxiliary verb was. Then you have to change the principal verb into past participle taught, teach taught. Then you have to use preposition by and last of all you have to change the subject into object he him. That's next question, question number seven. Doesn't he prefer milk? It is present in different way. Observe verb M is R for milk is negative form. Next, past partial form of the principal verb preferred and preposition by and last of all subject she converted into object form her. The last example, question number 8, can he do the work, the model of study verb, it's a very easy, just you have to add B with the model of study verb, okay. You have to use the model of study verb first, then you have to use the object, then you have to use B, then you have to convert the principal verb into past participle form, then you have to use preposition by and last of all you have to change the subject into passive student this is the class on voice change interrogative it's a very easy do you have any question you can ask in my second class and my second class i will try to understand easily WS voice change interrogative and you must study at home there are more exercise in your book and if you practice at home it will be very helpful to understand the topics so if you have any confusion write any comment and ask to solve again i will try my best to help you so no more today see you next class thank you stay at home